Hello, this is the uh, TI-84 guy. I'm back. Um, I have a quick video that I wanted to do um, that demos the uh, the power and usefulness of the quadratic program that I wrote um, that deals with quadratic functions. Um, I'm actually working with a student who's going to be taking the SAT on August 26th, and I was looking for some extra practice tests. So um, I went online, and I actually started looking at the PSATs, uh, for practice and I looked at um, the practice test number two for the PSAT and I saw this problem and when I looked at it I said this is a perfect problem that demonstrates the usefulness of the quadratic program so I wanted to I wanted to do a quick video on it to show you exactly what I saw and why I think it's useful so let me just jump into this alright so this is a number 26 question on the uh, PSAT the practice two um, exam and so it's kind of a difficult question, uh, relatively speaking. And it says uh, we've got a function here that's defined um, uh, in standard form. It's 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. And we want it, they want you to do a transformation on it and shift it four units to the right. So x minus 4. So we're going to shift this function four units to the right. And they want us to come up with the new quadratic uh, function um, that's been shifted. And they want it in standard form. So I was looking at this and I said, okay, um, let's jump on this. So I said, um, so I would go to programs and then I would go down to quadratic, press enter, press enter again. And since this is in standard form, I'm going to choose option one. It's going to be three, uh, negative five, and then uh, a plus four. And then uh, I want it in the vertex form, so I'm going to choose option two. And as you can see, um, the vertex is going to be at 5, 5, 6, and the y coordinate is going to be 23 over 12. So I said, now that I have in vertex form, I can add 4 to the vertex to shift it to the right. So, so let's do that. And then I'm going to convert it back to standard. So I'm going to choose option two now. And so the leading coefficient is still 3. The vertex is going to be 4, since we're shifting it 4 to the right, plus um, 5 over 6, 5 divided by 6. And then um, the y value is still the same, so it's 23 divided by 12. And then I am going to put it back in the standard form. So I choose option 3, and it's doing its magic, and it's done. So it says if you take the... Uh, if you take the shifted one, which would be 29 over 6, it's going to be, the um, standard form is going to be 3x squared minus 29x plus 72, which would be choice choice D here. All right. Um, so that was a good, I think that was a good problem to demo. Uh, and then here's another one that was also on the test. Uh, it's This one's a little easier. Um, but they're, they give you a rational function, and they want you to tell... Um, they want you to come up with an equivalent way of writing this function that shows you where the function is no longer defined. And that would be basically where the roots are because the roots would be equal to zero, of course, and you can't divide by zero. But they wanted to be able to look at the function and see that. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to press enter again, and I'm going to enter in standard form. I'm going to enter the denominator 2 um, for A, and then I'm going to put 2 in for B, and then I'm going to put a negative 4 for C, and then I'm going to factor it because I want it. I want to know where the factors are or where the roots are. So the factored form would would be 2x plus 2x minus 1, and that's what they wanted. So the choice here would be B. So um, this was a practice PSAT, but the quadratic functions show up a lot on the new SAT, and that's why I believe the quadratic program that I wrote is going to be so useful if, if you have it. So if you'd like to get a copy of this, three things. Um, send me your email, subscribe to my channel, and if you would, if you would take the time to like the video, I'd appreciate it. And I will try to get you the program as quickly as possible. If you are taking the exam on August 26th, I will do my best to try to get you the program, um, you know, in short order so that you can practice with it. All right. Um, have a good, have a good evening. All right. Bye.